let's go over this quality of life update and uh i'm gonna ascend Hey, Lebians, this is Critter. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in Sword Fighter Simulator because we had a quality of life update yesterday. There's a brand new code. There's a bunch of new stuff. And I'm going to ascend today. And I'm also going to show off the fact that I got super lucky again with another secret. So, if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button. Do the same subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Spend a lot. Let's get running into it. So, first things first. I hatched this. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, I did end up hatching another shiny. So I has a very beefy team now. This section, however, is going to be leading us into our next thing, which is now there is filters. So you now can search for pets. You also, if you have favorites, so I guess I don't really know what this one's indicating. And if you want to very quickly unlock and relock things. So no longer do we have to click a billion times. It is now just one click. I absolutely love this. Thank you. Thank you. And it's not just for pets, guys. It's also for swords. If we go over to swords, the exact same thing. They have this feature, which is amazing. It's beautiful. We also have search by, this would basically be the rarity. This is the power button. And this is all the enchants are now pulled to the very, very top. So you can see which ones you've gotten. And uh, you can be like, oh, I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I don't want that one type situation. I love it <laughs> so much. <laughs> Another thing to note that a lot of players are going to absolutely love, if we go over here to this question mark and you go over here, as you can see, the OP mount has been buffed. The OP mount's no longer 50, it is 65. The rate is now times 10. Times 10 what it used to be. So it's now 1 in 1,000 chance instead of 1 in 10,000. The OP pet is right there. And it actually shows like what its multiplier is. This is based off of, I think, your world. So yeah, that's that's definitely a big boost right there. Um, also, the season pass, the next time these refresh, just FYIZ, um, they will be fixed. Some stuff will be changed, so kind of keep that in mind that uh, a lot of this has been fixed. Also, the season pass, a lot of the bugs with this has been fixed, so kind of keep that in mind, guys, that through the rest of the update, these should be good to go now. Also, if you hover over these relic chests, you can actually see what's going to drop. So we have chocolate bar, rose, Lockhart, rose teddy bear, Heart Mug and Cupid. So Cupid's bow basically, guys, is just a slightly better version of Heart Mug. That's about it. It has a higher luck thing. So there you go. There's those rates for y'all. So hopefully, hopefully that all got addressed. There's a couple things with the spin wheel. However, I'm not about to spend a billion Robux to do that because I'm cheap. And I keep smacking into something and I don't know what it is. The other thing to note, uh, Sister finally got her first. I don't like that. Uh, I finally got my first Divine. And I do have that. So I actually am almost about to have my second divine. So I'm actually kind of super excited about that. Hopefully I'll be getting that soon. <laughs> um, also, here is the brand new code. And what it gives. If you go to the teleport option now as well, guys, you can now see if you do have teleport. This is actually kind of nice because it now shows you what machines are in each zone. So you no longer have to use the brain power. Hopefully they'll actually put the quest givers in here too. I think that'd be another cool feature to put is the quest givers. I really, really would like to see that. Also, secret stats have been fixed. So all the pet stats are now universal. So no more having to guess what these guys are supposed to be. You now can see them all the time. So there you go. Um, I also do believe the illusion machine has been patched as well. I think that was one of those other things that uh, a lot of the other bugs were fixed, so uh, just be careful when you're using it. I wouldn't use it on anything that you can't like easily replace type situation. So, there you go, plebs. Um, I've got just a little bit more to grind for, and we actually have a Blood Moon coming up very shortly, so I'm a little hesitant to rank up. I think I have enough time that I can actually rank up. So, uh, we're going to do that. I want to see the multiplier. I want to see it go burr. I always like seeing this thing go burr right after I rank up, so... Give me just a few minutes. Um, I should be able to rank on up. I'll be able to kill the Blood Moon boss. We're in the final countdown now. I am literally like decimal places away. Decimal places away. Let's go. Now, I always think it's weird is that when this changes over, it's not like instantaneous. You do have to kind of wait a minute. Because there's always like some extra things in there that you never see. But we're going to be going from Apex to Tertiary. I'm probably saying that wrong. Y'all are going to butcher me for it. But it's a time three multiplier. I'm hoping I can get back up pretty quickly. So here we go. 
ascending. I lost so, so much coins. Oh my god. <laughs> but it just goes burr. It goes burr, man. I'm definitely going to have to go do a dungeon to go and get some coins back. Oh my god, I can barely kill these guys. Oh, that's worrisome. Oh, that's really worrisome. Oh no. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yes, sister gonna have to go kill some stuff now. That's that's not good. That's not good. Can I kill these guys? Okay, I can kind of kill the cart the cart titans. Okay, it makes me feel a little bit better. Can I can I touch these? No, not really. No, not at all. <laughs> Look at that PPH. Oh my god. I know I understand that's with like that's also with because I have a booster going on right now, but that's still that's still an insane amount. Oh my god, that number just goes brr. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm gonna go grind back up some coins. Um, probably have to go do a little bit of dungeon grinding, and uh, hopefully I'll be powerful enough for the blood moon. I at least need one TBG. How much do I need to get to intrinsic? Did I say that? That's another times two. But that's six QAV. I think I need at least two QAV in order to take on room 48. So I guess I'll have to be working towards that. So plebs, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave y'all here. I got a lot of grinding to do. And uh I'll see y'all next time.